Uh, we didn't do anything to the golf cart. We only mod we only built, uh, designed and built the chassis dynamometer underneath it. Basically, the drive wheels on the golf cart power the roller, which is connected by a timing belt to an eddy current brake sitting right behind the rim. When you increase current to the eddy current brake, it resists uh, rotation, which in turn resists the rotation of the tires, much in the same way that going up or down a hill would. Uh, so using that, we can uh, use a computer program to automatically uh, increase or decrease the voltage and simulate an actual round of golf. Uh, every test begins with a loading protocol, so you hit OK load, and that sends full current to the anti current brake. Uh, so that when you bring the golf cart up the ramps and onto the frame, the roller stays still. And once the loading is complete, uh, oh yeah, kind of. Uh, you also have to input the tire diameter in order to uh, calculate the vehicle speed based off the roller RPM, as well as the vehicle weight, so you can calculate the, the force and force necessary to simulate the hills. All right, we're going to begin testing and throughout the entire test. He's going to have the pedal all the way down. Uh, when we apply resistive force using the brake, the vehicle will slow down. Uh, but you notice that with golf cars, when you go up a hill, it slows down, so that's what that is. <laughs> Woo! All right. Yeah! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, we're currently simulating a grass terrain with no elevation whatsoever. The vehicle will get up to about 19 miles an hour. All right, this is a five degree incline. You can hear it slowing down. You can see the RPM as soon as we increase the, the current to the anti-current brake, the RPM goes way down. It's actually at about 12 miles an hour right now. Alright, this is a 10 degree incline. Uh, the current's going to go down to about 8 miles an hour. It's still warm. Yeah. As you increase uh, the current to the motors, it increases the load on the golf cart batteries which increases the current draw on the batteries. Right now we're drawing about 190 amps on the batteries, which is pretty impressive in itself. <laughs> right now we're going to go down to a negative 5 degree incline. The vehicle will hit a side speed of about 20 miles an hour. And the motor current will go down to about, uh, 60, about 60 amps. But, yeah, the, as soon as you went off the curve with the brake, the RPM shoot back up to the vehicle stop speed. Alright, now we'll go back to flat terrain. And we're going to simulate driving on an asphalt surface, which is easier to roll on so the car will speed up. Alright, now we're going to a 10 degree incline, so the car will get down to about 7.5, 8 miles an hour. Oh, about 10 miles an hour, sorry. Alright, now we're going back to level ground. And then, uh, negative 5 degrees speed, sorry. Alright, now the deep is at a top speed. We're going to hit the emergency stop. Alright, unlike a usual E stop, which is. stop would cut all power in the system because you don't want the voltage going through there anymore. But our objective is to slow is to quickly and safely bring the whole system to a halt. So we actually increase power to the brake uh, to its max, right? Yeah, we increase to its maximum uh, current, which is about 192 volts, 21 amps, which uh, decelerates the system as quickly as possible. Ten seconds later, it's assumed that the car will be completely stopped, and it cuts all power, saves the data, and filters it, so that instead of uh, the noise you get in the usual reading, you get a smooth curve, and, uh, and that's what it outputs, and you can view later.